Give honest and sincere appreciation. That is the second principle in the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, by Dale Carnegie. Dale asks, what do you want? Not many things. The few things that you do wish, you crave with an insistence. That will not be denied. Some of the things most people want include health and the preservation of life, food, sleep, money and the things money will buy, life in the hereafter, sexual gratification, the well-being of our children, and a feeling of importance. Almost all these wants are usually gratified, all except one, but there is one longing almost as deep as imperious as the desire for food or sleep which is seldom gratified. It is what fruit calls the desire to be great. It is what Dewey calls the desire to be important. But why do we want this desire in the first place? It's because being important gives us self-esteem. Going back to the book, Lincoln once began a letter saying, Everybody likes a compliment. William James said, The deepest principle in human nature is the craving to be appreciated. He didn't speak, mind you, of the wish or the desire or the longing to be appreciated. He said the craving to be appreciated. Dale says, If our ancestors hadn't had this flaming urge for a feeling of importance, civilization would have been impossible. Without it, we should have been just about like animals. This desire is what made Rockefeller amass millions that he never spent. Dale says that it's this desire that makes us want to wear the latest styles and drive the latest cars. Dale asks the reader, If you tell me how you get your feeling of importance, I'll tell you what you are. That determines your character. That is the most significant thing about you. Moving on from that, the central concept in this chapter is that people are more likely to respond positively when they are sincerely appreciated. Carnegie highlights the fundamental principle of human nature, the desire to feel important. He emphasizes that recognizing and addressing this need is crucial in building positive relationships and influencing others. Ultimately, the key takeaway from chapter 2 is that by understanding and catering to people's innate desire to feel important, we can build harmonious relationships and influence and bring out the best in those around us. Anyway, I really do recommend this book as it will help you out in your self-improvement journey. With that being said, thank you for sticking to the end of this video. Goodbye and take care for now.